epoxy. Corners came out looking pretty good. Very happy with all of that. Hides very well. Yeah, let's see. Uh, back in here, you can see you'll see a little bit. I didn't expect it to be perfect out here where you actually can see it, though it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Got rid of some of those dents. The fill hole. Looks like I can see that just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got some drips because I don't know what I'm doing. I tried to get two medium coats and I ended up getting a, a wet coat and then a good medium coat. But this is overnight. I'm still within the recoat window and a little drip right there. It's not very much. I'm still within the recoat window and uh, I'm within the sanding window. So I can sand it before I recoat it without having to do anything special. A couple drips, just this corner, and I think I was just really focused on that corner, trying to get that perfect. So, while I'm up here, I've got a couple, couple of pinholes, nothing right here. There's that dent right there. The dent was farther, was worse than I thought. So I was able to get some of it out. You can see where some of the body filler is across the top, and that's what I use the surface primer for. So I'm gonna knock this down. They said 180, uh, 180 to 220 should knock off the big drips, and then up in here, there's a couple of pinholes in the primer. Right there and right there, so I can scuff that up with some 220 and then use a little bit of my putty in there. And with some areas right in here, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to touch this up with some seam sealer before I actually shoot the paint on. And then all down in here, I need to get some seam sealer in there too. Good thing is the seam sealer is I can splash that stuff on there. I can work it in and I'll be able to top coat that within half an hour. So I'm gonna break up some of this a little bit, get a little bit of filler right there, knock down these little drips. Hope that the paint isn't getting inside. I'm gonna splash a little, I'm gonna put a little piece of tape right there. And uh, go from there. So yeah, let's do this. that up. Go ahead and sand that down real quick. And day's heating up. It's still too cold to be able to paint. I'm right at the bottom edge of the temperature rating right now. But uh, this stuff will set up so let me get that knocked out real quick. That fills in the pinholes. Where's my dog going? Quinn, what are you doing? She's gonna go roll in that dirt. <laughs> I 
I was having trouble with my spray aerator and uh, when I finally got the issue sorted out I forgot to record again earlier when I was doing the body filler I had the camera recording and then I went to start the recording and turned it off mm, I, this I've just been plagued with issues grabbed a spray bottle from inside so I can do some uh, Wet sanding up there. That's what I'm going to do. And wet sanding. That looks, looks pretty good. I'm not entirely unhappy with that. She's a 10 footer. So, get the spraying and hitting that with some 400. So, I don't know if there's a right way per se, but I'm just going to spritz some water on here. Start blocking it, smoothing it out. Some of the curves, I'm gonna have to do it by hand. Man, this morning it is foggy. means I would imagine everything is wet. Let's see. Oh, it's a little wet. That's where I've been sanding it. A little bit of orange peel. I gotta take all this down. Um, the whole thing needs to be sanded, but the areas that I care about are gonna be here that's mostly covered by bed, so just the top portion, the corners, that, and then the cowl. And this looks pretty good, but I want to get it smoother. In here on the windshield channel, I need to get that smoother. Hay pillars don't look bad. Obviously, I can't. It's, stuff's still wet because of the fogginess. It's drying. I'm not worried about it. It's not going to hurt the paint. The paint's already cured. And here's what I keep doing. I, I'm just making stupid rookie mistakes. So when I blocked it, I got through, burned right through. There's a high edge right along here. And it's not very much. But that's bare metal. That's bare metal right there. You can see it. There's my finger. So, I mean, it's not very big. It's just over an inch. Rookie mistakes. All this needs to be sanded down. There's a little spot right there I want to fix uh, with sandpaper. A little spot right there I want to fix with sandpaper. So that's what I'm going to start... Getting back to this all feels rough. That needs to be sanded. So all of this, this needs to be 100% sanded. And I'm not sure if this shows up or not, but from here, these panels have been sanded. That panel has not been sanded. Um, this portion has been, this portion has not been. So there's a slight difference in color there. So I can tell where everything has been sanded and not sanded. I understand there's a guide coat and you can use all sorts of different things as a guide coat, but I don't have a guide coat and I'm not running out to get one so I'm gonna make do with what I've got just hit it with some sandpaper so with the epoxy it's a one-to-one uh, -one mix between this and the activator I'm not gonna eat very much I'm gonna get this stuff ready to go Cover that so I don't get any gobbly gook in there. Let that set up. Let's get the sanding.
or so to kill at least before I can shoot anything over it, but I can shoot it without having to sand it. So I had a couple of spots that were bare metal. You saw down in here, this was bare metal. Um, when I shoot the epoxy again after sanding everything, it goes on pretty dang smooth. Uh, I took the door strikers out, sanded that down, shot in there real quick, just so I can put the door strikers back on uh, without them being blue. Alright, so I've got my color mixed up here. I have not opened this up yet to see it. I'm very excited to see what this looks like. Oh, yes. I cannot wait to see that in the sunlight after it gets all mixed up and sprayed on. Mmm, that is delicious. Mm -hmm.